Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey, top of the week to you. How are you? Welcome, everyone, to Core Power YouTube. My name's Marielle. It's so nice to, to be here with you today on a Monday. If you are here for 30 minutes of C2, for 30 minutes of an all-level vinyasa flow, you're in the right place. I'm gonna make sure we can see what we need to see. All right. Joining me today is Lexi Reese from California. She'll be moderating our session. I'm coming to you live from Minneapolis, Minnesota, from the Twin Cities. I serve Core Power Yoga as an area leader to the studios, the studio leadership, and teachers in this area. Community, of course. Where are you all from if you're joining us? Let me make sure I can see our chat. All right. If you are here, friends, hello, welcome. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for being here. In about, oh, eight minutes or so, we will get started with a flow. And this is a C2 flow with Core Power Yoga on YouTube. Hey, Norka from California. Thanks so much for being here. My name's Marielle. If we haven't gotten the chance to do yoga together before, I'm so thrilled to, to share with you something I'm practicing right now. And it's, it's the way that breath helps me, helps me understand the fullness of a situation. Jackie from Denver. Oh my gosh, Jackie. So nice to know you're here. I wish, oh, I wish we would be back on the beaches in Nosara and Costa Rica together. You uh, had so many incredible contributions to that retreat we did. I'm so glad that you're here. You made that experience really special for me, babe. Welcome, Jackie. Let's do some yoga together again. Yes. Oh, great. Well, hey, we've got Jackie from Denver. She and I did a yoga retreat together with Core Power Yoga in Costa Rica over a year ago. Um, I saw Norka's here from, Color, uh, from California. Anyone else? We've got West Coast representation. We've got some mountain representation. I'm representing from the Midwest. Who else is here? Oh, and East Coast came through. Hey, Megan, New Haven, Connecticut. Excellent. All right, we got coast to coast covered. Welcome, everyone. If you're just joining us, my name is Marielle. Hello. Welcome to Core Power YouTube. We will be doing a 30-minute experience together today. This is a C2 practice. And over the next 30 minutes, we'll explore twisting. Because twisting is poetic to me, where we see one side of the situation and the other side of the situation, so we get a fuller picture and the greatest, most tangible tool we have to being most prepared in mind and spirit to see the picture is your breath. So we'll work on spherical breath. Can you remember the last time in the past week breath made you feel like you could handle a situation better or that you saw options maybe you hadn't seen before? If that resonates with you, if you're like, oh yeah, there was that one time, type it into the chat function. I'd love to see, and I know that your community will relate to, to know what is it? Can you tell me about a time in the past week where you know that breath helped you settle into a situation with more ease? Gary from San Diego, thank you for being here. I'm glad you're here. I'm looking forward to, to having you here too. Gosh, you know, I can think of um, my family and I are, are navigating some dynamic changes through, you know, through the past couple months. And I was speaking to my, my dad, who I, I love him so much, so thankful for our relationship, but I was speaking to him. And when he was first sharing with me some of the options that my family had, I just thought like, these are not the options that I want to take. And I was able to take a breath to get past my initial resistance. And that allowed me enough space in every direction to, to move into some acceptance, but I also got creative and we were able to come to a good common ground. So that's one maybe vague, but hopefully more relatable way that breath helped me expand you know, where I was in a situation to feel a little more connected to more possibilities than I thought were initially there. It's 
So let's see how breath can help us explore the whole picture and practice today. We will get started in about four more minutes, team. What's your favorite kind of breath to practice? Do any of you know about any pranayama breathwork practices that you relate to to help you feel ready or steady? Type them in. What's your favorite? And if you're just joining us, friends, my name is Marielle. Hello, my name is Marielle Castillo. I serve Core Power Yoga as an area leader in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. Joining me here is also Lexi Reese. Lexi Reese is an area leader in the Bay Area in California. And the two of us are here to support your 30-minute practice today, my friends. And we'll be working through a 30-minute C2 or all levels vinyasa experience where not only will you be able to see one side and the other side of a posture for a full experience, we'll explore the way that breath helps us be more present for the full experience of life, of a decision, of a relationship, dynamic. And I'm so excited. Some things that might help your practice today are a water bottle or a block, something that might be able to offer you some stability. I'll show you the ones that I'm using. I've got this block. It's simple, it's thin. I'll be using it to engage some muscle action and core and also to help me in a balanced posture later. If you have one, you can grab it. I've also used this water bottle many times. I just put my hand right on top of it. It's got a nice flat base and it'll help me be steady with balance as well. So you can grab one of the others. All right. And we will get started in just about two minutes. Thank you all for joining. Welcome. Where are you zooming from? Where are you streaming in from today? I'm joining you from the Twin Cities in Minnesota. Where are you coming live from? Welcome to Core Power on YouTube, where we will begin our practice in just two short minutes. If you've just joined, welcome. Hey, Deanna from New York City. Thank you so much for being here and being present. Brianna from San Jose, wonderful. Hey, thank you very much for being here, Brianna. We've got California representation. We've got Denver Mountain. Hey, we've got more DC. Mary Waller, nice to see you. And Hannah in Chicago. Brittany, San Diego, more Chicago. Lori, hey, my core power yoga um, experience began in Chicago. I took my very first core power yoga class ever at the Scoop Studio in Chicago. And since then, I've been able to serve in the New York City market. And now I'm here in the Twin Cities market. And my, I just love our giant family. All right, friends, are you ready? It is just about time to get started. If you joined us just recently here, we're gonna to practice together for 30 minutes. In this 30 minutes team, we'll explore how breath lets us see the whole picture. And we'll meet it with the poetry of physically moving in one direction and then the other direction to also full picture of our posture. And what this will help us do, team, is train ourselves to be ready for when we need expansion. Whether it be moments of tightness, in quick decisions, whether it be moments of long-term, can I see this through to the end expansion? This is what the practice for. This is the experience that we need for a happier life, more in line with our heartfelt desires. Well, I'm Marielle. Thank you so much. If you have a book or a water bottle or something that you think might help you feel more stable in your practice later, please grab it and bring it to your All right, friends. I'm going to turn on my playlist here. Lexi Reese is supporting me as a moderator in the chat function. So if you have any questions, please connect and she will be there to answer. And I'll be coming up to the screen to check in on you too. All right. Let's do this 30 minutes together to prepare for seeing the big picture. Join me on your mat in child's pose. Bring your knees wide to the edge of your mat today and your big toes to touch behind you. 
walk your hands to the very top of your space. Bend your fingers a little wider and towards the edges of your mat than you might normally. Rest your head down. What does it feel like to be a breather in your first child's pose experience of class? Take an inhale so deep you can feel your sides stretch. Press your palms firm in the mat to engage your upper sides. Breathe spherically, friends. Breathe so you feel widening on the sides and your chest and back expand in every direction all at once. One more big breath in. Last exhale. Inhale, tabletop position. Keep breathing. Stack your shoulders over your palms and your hips over your knees. Reach your right arm high to the sky. Distribute weight evenly into both of your knees. For me, I shift to the left a little to get even. Press into the pinky of your bottom hand to open deeper. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Slide your right arm underneath you and rest onto your right shoulder. Take even weight into both of your knees. Without twisting any deeper into this posture, what happens if you breathe deeper to develop your twist? Press into your left palm. Inhale, reach your right arm high to the sky. Exhale, tabletop position, other side. Inhale, lift your left hand high. Pause and breathe, friends. Drive into the pinky of your bottom hand to open your chest wider. Good. Shift weight to the right to distribute weight evenly between your knees. How wide can you get wrist to wrist? Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Lower your left shoulder down onto the mat. Lengthen your sides with deeper breath. Press into your right palm. Inhale, lift your left hand high to the sky. Exhale, tabletop position. Inhale, cow pose. Drag your palms energetically back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Team, if this is your first dog of Monday, say to yourself, mm-hmm, so you made it here. I'm so thankful that you're friends. What does it feel like to breathe spherically down dog? Inhale, expand your chest, sides, and back. Out. Inhale in every direction. Exhale everything. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Separate your feet a little more than you might normally. Press your belly closer to your wrist. Grab onto your elbows. Take more weight forward to the ball mounts of your feet and sway gently side to side. Release your hands to hang and totally your feet to touch. Squeeze your inner thighs, roll up to standing. Place one hand flat on top of your chest and the other hand flat on top of that. Feel two rounds of your spherical breath in. In every direction, in and out. Release your arms down by your side. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your hands up to the sky. Exhale, open twist to the right. Tilt your front hip bone straight to engage your low body and lengthen your back. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Squeeze your inner thighs together and at the same time, energetically drive heels wide to engage your inner and outer thighs. Inhale, mountain pose, lift your hands up. Exhale, humble forward fold. Bend your knees and reach your hands high behind you. Engage your belly towards your thighs the same way you would engage your core to do a sit up towards your legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips, team. Inhale, lift, pause here and breathe. Take your hands up your thighs, press into them to lengthen your spine. 
bend your knees a little so there's less tension and more space to get long on your backside. Squeeze your upper back muscles as if you were doing a cow pose. Here and time. Breath in. Exhale, high plank all the way down to your belly. Plant your palms, step back and lower. Take your palms up, goal post. Inhale, lift your arms and your legs off the mat. Keep breathing, team. Squeeze your thighs together. Feel your navel, even though your belly is pressing into the mat. Drive your belly button in and up to engage. Little action here. Lift up for two and lower for two. Lift two, lower for two. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Take your palms back down to the mat. Keep breathing. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, friends. Exhale, forward fold. Walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Engage your back cow. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, open twist to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, mountain pose till your hip points up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, humble forward fold. Bend your knees to get your torso closer. Inhale, chair pose. How high can you send your thumbs back? Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Rock more weight forward. Exhale, high plank all the way down to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra with locust legs. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm chair to the right. Bend your knees this time. Squeeze your inner thighs. Hamstring curl your hips a little lower. Widen the distance between your palms. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm chair to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, humble forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Step your feet back, rock forward and more up to halfway. Inhale, up dog, drag your palms back to engage your triceps. Exhale, downward facing dog. What does it feel like to breathe spherically now that you've warmed up a little? Press your mat and lengthen your back. Explore expansiveness in every direction with your inhale. Exhale, all of it. Inhale, lift your earth leg down dog. Reach your right leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite tricep. Shift forward. Tap towards your left with your right leg. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your palms. Inhale, crescent moon. Lower your back knee and reach your arms high head. Press your front heel down into the mat to engage your glutes even more. Pull your front heel back energetically so your hamstrings in the moon. Till your front hip bones straight up towards the sky. Do you feel the front of your left hip stretch even more? Take a big breath in. Exhale, half splits. Shift your hips back and tend your fingertips on the mat. All right, friends. Drive your heel down. Push down like you can dent your mat ever with your heel. Do you feel your glute engage more? Optional balance challenge. Ten left fingertips on the mat and extend your right hand back behind you like airplane arm. You stay right here or extend your left fingertips back too. Drive your chest forward and squeeze your upper back like you do in halfway lift or cow pose. What does it feel like to be a breather when you've got a moment of balance in your life? Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, kneeling warrior. Bend back into your front knee. Exhale, lunge with airplane arms. Engage your leg, drive your chest forward. 
Inhale, warrior two. Open up your heart to the side of your mat. Drive your front heel down. You can feel the weight of your body in your front foot. What if you also push down on purpose? Press into the edge of your back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, extend side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your front hip bones straight up to engage your side. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Team, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's learn the sun B flow on your other side. Inhale, three leg, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Press into your palms to dome your back. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your left leg up. Exhale, lunge, step forward. Inhale, press and move. Lower your back knee and reach your arms to the sky. Reach up, team, and keep breathing. You tell about the quality of space around your body. Fill it and make up space to explore the whole picture of this pose by breathing spherically. Focus a giant inhale in every direction. Engage your belly to exhale fully. Squeeze your so much it's like your own thigh bones squeeze tighter into your hip size. Take another breath in. Exhale, half splits. Shift hips back. Tense your fingertips to the mat for balance. Flex all of your front toes towards your face. And even though from the outside it might look like cat pose, energetic inside, drive your chest forward like you want cow. Balance challenge option. Put your right fingertips onto your mat. Airplane your left hand behind you. You can sit right here, front, or take your right hand behind you too. Drive your chest forward. And even in a moment where you feel wobbly, choose deep spherical breath to experience fully. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two, pause and breathe. Tilt your front hip bones straight up to make your spine like mountain pose. How wide can you get between your hands to make more space for full understanding, full breath? Take a breath in, extended side angle, reach forward, lower your front arm down, your back hand high. Inhale, reverse warrior. How can you make your left side? Exhale, high plank to low. Plant your palms, step back and lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a full breath in and let it go. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite tricep. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half splits, optional airplane arms. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane crescent, hinge forward. Inhale, war two, press your back heel down firm. Exhale, extended side angle, get wide between your hands. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high plank, low plank. Flex your quad in up dog to open your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee up the tricep. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent move. Exhale, half optional airplane. Arm. Push your front heel down to balance. Inhale, crescent move. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Plant your palms. Step back and lower, team. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's add on a little more. Put the consciousness of our deep breath together. Explore some extra options we have available for us in this flow today. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to the left. Tricep and pause here. Pause here. Drop flat like warrior two. You can stay here. Explore the engagement in your right side or out of the side plank variation. Lift your left hand up. Take a breath in and arch your hips up. Exhale, three plank. Inhale, three leg down. Exhale, low. Inhale, cross. 
crescent moon. Exhale, half splits and pause. Tense your left fingertips on the mat. Add a knee twist. Reach your right arm high the sky. Big friends. Take your right thumb. You want a self assist. And hook your right thumb at the highest fleshy part of your right hip. Sometimes it's get a little sad. Hike up. Pull your right hip back to lengthen your right side and encourage deeper stretch across the outside of your leg. Look at your front foot. Pull your outer edge near the pinky edge of your foot back. The flat part of the bottom of your foot is parallel to the front of your mat. Do you feel new consciousness around the outside of your leg? Take another breath in. Exhale, lunge. Plant your hands. Inhale, cross Lift your arms high to the sky. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge. Hinge forward your left elbow to the outside of your front leg. Press your palms together to twist deeper. Drive your front heel down so your glute is as engaged as it can be consciously. Now without leveraging any more depth, twist family, breathe deeper. And how can just breathing deeper help explore the depth of your twist for you? in your practice, in this experience. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch your right side. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Palms and lower. Inhale, up dog. Inhale, down dog. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to right tricep and pause. First, drop your back foot down like warrior two. Woo! Can you feel your whole left side engage more? I sure can. You can breathe, explore it. Or lift your left hand high for plank variation. How about this? Left side body engagement. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your right hand. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent move. Exhale, half splits and pause. Tend your right fingertips on the mat. Lift your left hand high for easy twist. Team, you can self-assist on this side too. Take your left thumb to the highest part of your hip crease. Pull back to lengthen your left side and feel a longer stretch on the outside of your leg. When I look at my front foot, I can see that it's angled in like the bottom of my foot faces the inside of my mat. Is yours too? This to fully get conscious on the outside of your front leg. All right, team. Take one more breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms high overhead. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Bring your palms to your heart, hand forward. Twist to your left. Hook your right elbow on the outside of your left leg. Breathe spherically. All of your focus on the expansion in every direction of your chest, forwards, sideways, backward. What does it feel like to be there when challenged in a rotation? Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your arms straight up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. lift your left hand high and tilt your left hip point. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel your breath in every direction in and propel it all out. Good. Come forward and have a seat on your mat. Team, now is a good time to grab your block. If you have one too, for a little core work, just a little bit, are you excited? All right. Plant your feet on your mat. Take your block if you have one optional and place them between your thighs. Go ahead, parallel your shins to the sky. Take your fingertips behind your ears. Big breath in. Exhale, lift. Lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Basic crunches, team. Squeeze your block in between your thighs to help stable your pelvis. And with more stability, can you crunch a little higher? Woo! Last four. Three. Squeeze your thighs. Two. 
and one. Extend your heels straight up. Move block to the side. Interlace your fingertips together and reach your shoulders up. Round your shoulders away from the mat. Reach your hands outside of your right leg. Press your arm into the outside of your leg. Lower your left leg down for two. For two. Lower down. And lift. Oh, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Flex all the muscles of your legs. Lift your chest up into the for four. Three. Switch that in two and one. Send your heels up. Release your shoulders. Lift back up, friends, and reach to the left. Press your arm into the outside of your leg. Here we go. Lower down for two. Right leg up for two. Lower. Woo! And lift. Inhale. And exhale. Good. I know you can feel your right shoulder blade off the mat. Can you lift your left shoulder higher? We're here for four. Lift. Last three, drive your heels away from center for two. <laughs> Last one, pull your knees into your chest. Take it to a T. Lower your knees right for two, back to center for two. To the left and center. Inhale, one side of the situation. Exhale, back to the middle, other side of the situation. Back to the middle, one more side, down. Team, here you are in the full picture. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock forwards and backwards, the length of your spine to standing forward. Time. If you have a blow or water bottle for stability, a good time to grab it. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend your knees and drive your chest forward. Exhale, fold. Standing L, extend your left leg behind you. Drive your chest forward like you want to have a lift. Option to take your water bottle or your block, the highest height underneath your left hand. Lift your chest forward. Self-assist, hook your right thumb to the outside high crease of your right hip and pull back. Do you feel the familiarity or half split self-assist? You can stay right here, team, or open your chest to the right. What does it feel like to be a breather? Limbs are pulling in every direction. Option to lift your right hand high to the sky for revolve half of the moon. Spirit in every direction in. Lift your back heel higher in your exhale. Last inhale. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, high lift, squeeze your upper back like a back bend. Exhale, fold. Spin so I can see you on the other side. Standing L, lift your right heel high behind you. You can stay right here and focus on glute strength. Or take your water bottle or block under your right hand. Press into your support and drive your chest forward like a halfway lift. Self-assist, hook your left thumb to the high crease of your left hip, pull back. Drive your chest forward. Stay right here, team, or inhale, reverse half moon. Put your left hand high to the sky. And your wrists. Press into the pinky edge of your bottom foot. Lift your back high. Feel the fullness of this experience in every direction. For one more breath in. Exhale, ragdoll. Release your feet. Grab onto your elbows. Sway side to side. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank, team. Plant your palms, step your feet back and lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Drive us forward, gate biceps. Exhale, down facing dog. Even after it feels like you've hit the peak of experience, full can help you see how things 
into place after them. Like after a revolved half moon in a 30 minute yoga class, take a giant inhale, press the mat away and down because there's still length to be experienced in here and in life. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, have a seat at the top of your mat. Let's explore third opening before we say goodbye for now. You can grab your block again, plant your feet flat on your mat, and lay all the way down. Walk your feet hip width distance apart, your arms by your side. Inhale, bridge pose. Tilt your tailbone up towards the sky. Lift your hips. Keep breathing. You can stay here. Option to place a block in between your thighs. If you have a block, also option to place your block underneath your hips. Draw your arms firm into your mat, your chest higher. Oh, what does it feel like to? Breathe in every direction when you're bent or backwards and opening your heart to the world of the experience in the first place. Take another breath in. Exhale, recline. Set your hips down. Bring the bottoms of your feet to touch and let your knees. Be. Press your back into the mat, expand your sides outwards and feel your heart lift up into your palms. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees to touch. Pull your knees into your chest, happy baby pose. Extend your knees wide, grab for your ankles, your hamstrings or the outer edges of your feet. Your back that did a lot of work for you in today's practice. Take the weight of your strong body to one side of your spine to the other side of your spine. Pull your knees back to your chest. Eagle legs. Cross your right leg tight over your left. Eagle leg supine twist. Drop both of your knees to the left. Reach your arms up like the shape of the letter Y. The twisting that you experienced earlier in class came with a lot of effort. Let this one be driven just by the grace of your breath, Yoda family. Come back to center. Cross your left leg over your right, eagle leg on the other side. Drop your knees to the right. Explore your breath expansion, soften muscle engagement. Return to center. Pull your knees into your chest and take an inhale so deep, everything feels tired. Exhale, release into length and softness. We'll end these moments of conscious rest with conscious breath. And it's you and over 40 others across the land joining in together for this experience this very second. So know we are united all together for this inhale. Breathe in. Let it go. Two more with everyone. Inhale. And out. Last one, conscious spherical in. And out. Rest steady, friends, for the next minute.
Take a full breath in and let it go. Your legs are strong. Bend your knees and plant your feet onto your mat. Reach your arms long overhead and stretch. Roll onto your side. Press yourself up to a seat, your family. And if it's safe where you are, you can close your eyes. Place one hand flat on the vest and the other hand flat on top of that. What does it feel like to breathe on purpose for two rounds? Explore spherical breath in and out. One more time. Bring your palms to touch in front of you, team. With this final greeting, we, we, we recognize our sameness from me to you and everyone. Namaste. Yoga family, thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Marielle. You can meet me at Instagram at Marielle underscore Victoria. I am to serve you and our team with Core Power Yoga. You can find a YouTube class available every day at noon mountain time and mountain time, a special lesson from our master trainers. Core Power Live is coming. This new experience that we have for you allows us to connect both of us. I see me, we have the classroom experience. I can guide you on more self-assist and support your practice. The whole team is here to support you. Multiple classes will be available daily. Thank you. When we breathe like we did today, friends, when we breathe in every direction, we can really help see how breath helps us explore the full picture. Thank you, Carrie. So when you're in a position where you're literally twisted, one arm in every direction, one leg in every direction, that's the poetry of your breath being at the middle of all the poles. So the fuller you make, the more you can experience. Thank you, Megan. Stay sister. So please, your own your Mark and your and your world is to ask yourself does it feel like to be a breather right now more of the time and the deeper you breathe may you see the deeper experience that's ready for you and when especially in a twist twisting tight it feels like your chest is tight well we trained our brain to breathe deeper anytime we felt tightness in our chest whether you know it was an emotional thing a physical thing this is the healing thank you christina my name is marielle please join us for more youtube Please join us on Power that is coming for you soon. I cannot wait to experience it, team. Cannot wait to you again, friends. Love to you. Must stay to be a through the rest of the day.